Thanks, Bob. Astros fans, welcome. Welcome to the second annual Astros Hall of Fame ceremony presented by Houston Methodist. As we begin tonight's ceremony, we would like to thank everyone for their patience over the last year. We're finally able to welcome this amazing 2020 class into the Astros Hall of Fame. I would like to thank Astros owner Jim Crane for his support and his dedication to honoring our great players, broadcasters, and managers in Astros history. A special shout out to our past president, Reed Ryan, for his vision to bring the Astros Hall of Fame to Houston. I'd also like to thank members of the Astros Hall of Fame Advisory Committee and members of the 2019 Astros Hall of Fame. Their class is joining us tonight. In 1962, Major League Baseball came to Houston. When the Colts 45s took to the field, the date was April 10th, and the Colts 45s beat the Chicago Cubs that day 11 to 2. Three years later, the team would change its name to the Houston Astros and move into a revolutionary facility known as the eighth wonder of the world the Houston Astrodome. Over the last 59 seasons, local baseball fans have witnessed some of the greatest players take the field as members of the Houston Astros and the Colt 45s. Over the years, our hometown team has had all-stars, Golden Glove winners, Silver Sluggers, Cy Young Award winners, MVPs, Hall of Famers, and World Series champions. The Astros Hall of Fame was designed to honor all of these greats, great players, coaches, managers, and executives who have made contributions to our franchise. Today, we will proudly welcome six new Astro Hall of Famers. In this group of Astros legends that each year will put on their orange blazer and welcome the next class of Astros Garrets. Fans, once again, Enjoy today, celebrate our past, look forward to our future. Our future is very bright. Please help me welcome a man we all know and love, legendary Astros broadcaster for 30 years, Bill Brown. Thank you, Anita. Great to see you again, everybody, and thanks for coming out tonight. It's an honor, of course, to be here for this induction of the 2020 Astros Hall of Fame class. Before we introduce the six new inductees, we'd like to recognize members of the inaugural 2019 Astros Hall of Fame class joining us on stage tonight. The inaugural class featured 16 Astros legends whose contributions to the franchise will last forever. Gentlemen, congratulations on all your achievements and your induction into the Astros Hall of Fame. How about a round of applause for them? Thank you. Tonight, we also reflect and remember three members of the 2019 Hall of Fame class that we have lost. Astros Hall of Fame class members Joe Morgan and Jimmy Wynn were both pillars of the Astros organization and a significant reason for the success of the franchise their contributions will never be forgotten. Sadly, earlier this week, the Astros mourned another loss of one of our franchise icons, J.R. Richard. J.R. will forever be remembered as an intimidating figure on the mound and as one of the greatest pitchers in club history. He stood shoulder to shoulder with club icons Larry Durker, Joe Necro, and Nolan Ryan to form some of the best rotations in club history. On the Astros' all-time lists, Richard ranks tied for second in career ERA, third in strikeouts, fourth in complete games, and fifth in wins and shutouts. Sadly, JR's playing career was cut short by health issues, but his 10 years in an Astros uniform stand out 
as a decade of excellence. And for some reason, on the nights that he pitched, there was mysteriously an illness of some sort sweeping through the visiting team's clubhouse in the Astrodome. We salute Joe, Jimmy, and JR for all their contributions as three of the greatest players to wear an Astros uniform. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the six members of the 2020 class were voted on by an advisory committee made up of media members, alumni, and executives who joined me on this stage tonight. They did a great job. Thank you, committee. The 2020 class as a whole is filled with some of the best talent to have ever played the game in the city of Houston and includes a revolutionary former team owner who forever changed the stadium experience for sports and entertainment. Each of these inductees will have their Astros Hall of Fame plaque installed and forever be a part of Minute Maid Park's Hall of Fame Alley right out there. Without further ado, it's time now to induct the six new members of the Astros Hall of Fame. Our first inductee, Lance Berkman, was Houston's first draft pick in 1997 from Rice University, and he spent 12 of his 15 major league seasons in an Astros uniform. Known as the Big Puma, a nickname he gave himself, he was one of the most menacing switch hitters of his generation, and he is the franchise leader in on-base percentage, slugging percentage, and OPS. His 94 extra base hits in 2001 and 136 RBI in 2006 are single season franchise records. A five time Astros MVP, six time All Star, five with Houston. Berkman played outfield and first base for Houston. He was a member of three Astros postseason teams, including the 2005 National League champions. In 2009, he became just the second player in franchise history to hit 300 home runs in a Houston uniform. This proud native Texan is also the career leader in home runs at Minute Maid Park. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and welcoming Lance Berkman. And here on behalf of Lance and his family, Larry and Cynthia. Larry, the man who taught him how to switch hit. The big Puma, Lance Berkman. A native of Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, Cesar Cedeno was scouted by the Astros at age 16, and he signed in 1967. He made his major league debut with the Astros in 1970 and quickly established himself with an aggressive and graceful style of outfield defense, which had many referring to the Astrodome as Cesar's palace by the mid-1970s. He brought a combination of speed and power and was the first Astros player to steal 400 bases, finishing with a franchise record 487. He was an Astros MVP, a five-time Gold Glove winner, a four-time All-Star, and he was the first in franchise history to hit for the cycle. By 1981, he had established new team records for career hits, extra base hits, doubles, total bases, slugging percentage, and stolen bases. Please welcome him to the Astros Hall of Fame, Cesar Cedeno. A former Texas state legislator, Harris County judge, and Houston mayor, Roy Hoffines was one of the founding fathers of the Astros franchise as a charter member of the Houston Sports Association. He utilized civic experience and bold imagination to merge the concept of an indoor, climate-controlled shopping center with the creation of the world's first dome stadium. He was also instrumental in developing Colt Stadium, a temporary home for the Houston Colt 45s, while the dome stadium was built next door. In late 1964, Hoffines renamed the Colt 45s the Astros and declared the Dome Stadium to be the Astrodome, 
which came to be known as the eighth wonder of the world. Opening in 1965, the Astrodome placed Houston on the international map and revolutionized sports and entertainment facilities around the world for decades to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the family of the late Judge Roy Hoffines. Selected by Houston in the 1996 amateur draft from Holmes Community College in Mississippi, Roy Oswald made his major league debut in 2001 after winning a gold medal as a member of the USA baseball team in 2000, settling into the Astros starting rotation and becoming the ace of the staff by the mid 2000s, Oswald was known for his quick work on the mound. There was a saying about Bob Gibson that he pitched as if he were double parked. That's the way Roy pitched. He utilized a four pitch arsenal that ranged between a dominant mid 90s precision fastball to an upper 60s curveball. He won 14 or more games in eight of his 10 seasons with Houston and was part of the historic six pitcher no hitter at Yankee Stadium in 2003. He posted back to back 20 win seasons in 2004 and 2005. A three time all star with Houston, Oswald was the NLCS MVP in 2005. You remember that game in St. Louis? After the tough loss here, when he nailed it and took this team to the World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Astros Hall of Fame, the wizard, Roy Oswalt. A natural born right-hander, Billy Wagner broke his arm twice as a child and taught himself to throw a baseball with his left hand. He developed a blazing fastball in high school and college before being drafted by the Astros in 1993. Known as Billy the Kid, he made his major league debut in 1995 and quickly became the new Astros closer. He recorded 30 or more saves in six of his nine seasons with the Astros, recorded 100 or more strikeouts three times, and three of his seven all-star selections were in a Houston uniform. He was the 1999 NL Reliever of the Year and an integral part of four NL Central Division titles between 1997 and 2001. Wagner closed out the Astros' historic six-pitcher no-hitter at New York in 2003, and he recorded 159 pitches at 100 miles per hour or more that season. A fearless competitor, he developed a blistering slider and closed out his time in Houston with 694 strikeouts in 464 games and a franchise record 225 saves. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Wagner. clubhouse leader and strong-willed competitor, Bob Watson was one of the top clutch hitters in Astros franchise history. Simply known as Bull, Watson spent 14 seasons in Houston, and he was a National League top 10 hitter in 1972, 73, 75, and 76. He scored the one millionth run in Major League Baseball history in 1975. Following his retirement as a player in the 1980s, Watson returned to Houston in 1988 as baseball's first African-American assistant general manager. He became the first African-American GM in Astros history in 1993 and later became the first African-American GM to win a World Series with the Yankees in 1996. He later served in the MLB commissioner's office and remained one of the game's greatest ambassadors. Sadly, we lost Bob Watson in 2020 at the age of 74. Joining us this evening, please welcome the family of the late Bob Watson. <laughs> On 
on behalf of the Houston Astros and our great partner, Houston Methodist. We hope you enjoyed tonight's ceremony, witnessing some of the all-time greats in Astros history, joining that inaugural class in the Astros Hall of Fame from 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in congratulating the 2020 Astros Hall of Fame class, and thank you for coming.